Eckhart Tolle's teachings primarily revolve around mindfulness, presence, and spiritual awakening. Some of his key lessons include the power of now. Where Tolle emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment, as it's the only place where true peace and contentment exist. Tolle advocates accepting the present moment as it is, rather than resisting or denying it. Surrendering to what is, allows for inner peace and spiritual growth. He added how to cultivate conscious relationships by being present, compassionate, and aware of one's reactions and behaviors within relationships. He also teaches about the ego's role in creating suffering. And how identifying too strongly with the mind can lead to unhappiness. Observing thoughts without being consumed by them is crucial. Another, is the transcendence of pain and suffering, in which, Tolle suggests that by observing and acknowledging pain without judgment, one can transcend suffering and find inner peace. He is also encouraging a deeper connection to nature, as a way to experience presence, and find a sense of oneness with all life. These teachings are often conveyed through his books like, The Power of Now, and, A New Earth, as well as through talks and retreats. Practicing mindfulness, meditation, and self-awareness, is key component of embracing Tolle's teachings. Now, to the power of now. The Power of Now, written by Eckhart Tolle is a self-development book, and a guide to spiritual enlightenment that talks about the importance of living in the present moment. It shows how most people are stuck in their past memories, or worried about their future, which takes them away from the present moment. Most of us do these, and I admit it's really hard to stop or remove immediately. This work is inviting you to awaken to the now, and discover the peace and joy that lie within, which in our moment, seems to be nonsense and impossible. Here's a short overview of the contents. Part 1. The Problem of Unenlightenment. A. Identified Ego. We identify with our mind, the constant stream of thoughts and emotions, creating an ego that suffers from anxieties, fears, and dissatisfaction. B. Pain body and past unresolved issues. Accumulated negativity from past experiences forms a pain body, causing emotional turmoil in the present. C. Living in the past and future. Our obsession with past memories and future expectations keeps us disconnected from the present moment, the only reality. Part 2. The power of now. A. Awakening to the present. Recognizing the now as the only true reality. And disengaging from the mind's chatter brings inner peace and liberation. B. Observing the mind. Learning to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment allows us to step back from their power and find stillness within. C. Using your senses. Tuning into the present moment through our senses, sight, sound, touch, smell, and taste grounds us in the now and dissolves mental noise. Part 3. Going beyond the ego. A. The pain body. How to deal with it. Accepting and dissolving the pain body through presence and awareness allows for emotional healing and release of negativity. B. Finding yourself beyond the ego. The I am presence. Beyond the mind and thoughts is our true essence, a timeless state of peace and joy. C. Relationships and enlightenment. Living in the now fosters authentic connection with others without expectations or attachments. Part 4. The state of enlightenment. A. Living a life of now. Integrating the now into daily life, even amidst challenges, brings inner peace and a sense of effortless being. B. Dying to the past. Letting go of past identities and attachments allows for true transformation and living fully in the present. C. The new earth. Cultivating presence and awareness becomes a collective shift, creating a peaceful and harmonious world. The power of now is not a book to be simply read, but experienced. Tolle offers practical exercises and guidance to help readers move beyond intellectual understanding and enter into the direct experience of the now. It encourages introspection, self-awareness, and a conscious shift in how we engage with the world. Remember. First, reading the book yourself will allow you to delve deeper into its teachings and resonate with its message on a personal level. Second, Tolle's approach may not resonate with everyone, and spiritual paths are diverse. Explore openness and find teachings that resonate with your own journey. Again, here are the key takeaways. 1. Importance of the present moment. The book focuses on the importance of living in the present moment. Eckhart Tolle believes that living in the present moment is the key to happiness and inner peace. The author mentions that, humans are constantly thinking about their past memories, or worries about the future. This takes them away from the present moment, which is the only moment that truly exists. 
living in the now is the key to achieving inner peace and happiness. And, there are various techniques and exercises given to help readers live in the present moment. 2. Overcoming the pain body. The author talks about the pain body, which is a collection of negative emotions such as anger, fear, and sadness accumulated now, or for long periods of time. The pain body is formed due to past traumas or negative experiences, and it continues to influence our behavior and thoughts. The book emphasizes the importance of understanding and overcoming the pain body to achieve inner peace and happiness in life. 3. Letting go of the ego. The power of now emphasizes the importance of letting go of the ego. The ego is a sense of the self that is concerned with the past, future, and material possessions. The book explains that the ego creates a false sense of identity, which takes people away from their true self. The author suggests that letting go of the ego is the key to achieving spiritual enlightenment. 4. Practice of Mindfulness. It emphasizes the practice of mindfulness, which is the act of paying attention to the present moment. Or what you are doing or experiencing now. The author suggests that practicing mindfulness can help people achieve inner peace and happiness. Instead of always glorifying or cursing the past or future. The book then provides various techniques such as breathing exercises and body awareness to help readers practice mindfulness. Eckhart Tolle is also answering many questions in the book related to these. Like what he really means by now, or that past really happened. And, it's affecting the person and can't just ignore the past. 5. Understanding the interconnectedness of life. The power of now emphasizes also the interconnectedness of life. The book explains that everything in the universe is connected, and humans, are just a small part of the larger whole. Etchkart Poli states that understanding this interconnectedness can help people achieve spiritual enlightenment and inner peace. 6. Forgiveness and Acceptance. Tolly emphasizes that, forgiving others, and accepting oneself, play valuable roles in achieving inner peace. The book talks about the various benefits of forgiveness and acceptance, such as reducing stress, improving relationships, and achieving spiritual enlightenment. The Power of Now is a practical guide to achieving inner peace and spiritual enlightenment, which focuses on the importance of living in the present moment, letting go of the ego, and understanding the interconnectedness of life. Practicing mindfulness, forgiving others, and accepting oneself is the key to improved life and joy. Still, it depends if the teachings resonate with you. As stated before, we have different journeys and paths we follow. I hope these serve as helpful guides to you. And, the unlocking of the transformative potential of, the power of now, in life, depends for each person. Results vary. Wish you prosperity and the best in life.